So brief update, I'm in the van. And you might be able to see out, I am camping. I also apologize that it's a little dark. I wanna get this video done before it gets even darker. I am officially in a campground and uh, I'm in the van and I did not bring a tent. So, uh, yep, this is happening. A brief update. I've been, I've been describing this as phase one. Phase one is just getting this thing to the point where I can do this. Phase two, uh, will be a few extra features to help me keep the batteries charged and keep a fan going and so forth. And then phase three will be kind of making it all look cool and pretty and whatever. All right, so a bit of a tour. As you can see, I have sleeping bag, pillow, blanket, other blanket, other blanket. Uh, it's supposed to get down to about 40 degrees tonight. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like sleeping in the van. That would certainly be cold in a tent. Um, I've been sitting back here for a few minutes and it's pretty warm already, so I might be okay, but you know, we'll see. Below that, we have the, um, the platforms that I built uh, a few days ago that you saw me working on in the video. These are not done. These are just kind of proof, and proof of concept, uh, but it seems like it's gonna work just fine. So currently the van is what I've been calling day mode. I have a place to sit and do work. I'm gonna build a little like desk platform thing here for me to, to write and edit and that kind of thing on. That's phase two. Um, and I just wanted to see if this idea of having these kind of slide out panels was gonna work and it seems like it will. So this piece and the one uh, under it, uh, that will slide over here where I'm sitting now and then out this way towards the fridge, which you might be able to hear and humming in the background. And there's beneath all of that is another platform underneath, which is currently just the batteries. And I'll have a few more things in there as part of phase two. 
and secure them down a little bit more. Right now, it's everything's held in with straps, which I don't really like. It's a bit inelegant. I'll switch to night mode in a minute because uh, I kind of want to just take a nap and see how it is. So that's what's going on over here. Um, night mode, as you'll see in a moment, the seat I'm sitting on now folds down flat. These two pieces come over. Night mode. Uh, I have temporarily have a uh, air mattress that I'm going to put on top of this. I want something a little bit better than that for the final version, maybe foam or something like that. I, I'm still looking into it. There's a few options, but the best one might even just be me buying some foam and cutting it up so that it fits and then just wrapping the whole thing. We'll see. And then if you look over here, um, we've got little backpack because I brought up, you know, we're clothes and stuff. Um, not sure if that's, that might be a permanent solution, might not be, we'll see. Fridge, uh, I have some, some food and you can see the bread and stuff in there. Um, some coffee for the, for the morning. And then my foyer, if you will, where I keep my shoes and stuff. And most importantly, the moon roof. So we'll see tonight. It's probably going to be really dark here, which is great. And hopefully uh, that means I'll be able to see some stars through the moonroof, which was kind of the whole point of getting this van. Wow, this is really dark. Um, so yeah, so I'm still kind of just figuring it all out. But as far as I can tell, this is going to work. Uh, as long as it doesn't get too cold tonight and I turn into a popsicle. So yeah, I'll flip it over to night mode. You can see how that looks and yeah. So actually I think I would, I think what I'm going to do is I'll wait a little bit until it gets darker to flip it over to night mode. I think I'm going to make myself some dinner first and, or at least have a bit of a snack. So stay tuned. And here is night mode. Yeah, pretty dark, but anyway, uh, I'll obviously be in the sleeping bag and I have an air mattress that I haven't inflated yet that'll go on here. But that's the general idea because, oh, hello. So that is, uh, that's the deal. And uh, it's probably really small. You can already see the moon. And this is where I'll be sleeping tonight. So yeah, should go pretty well. Can you hear the hum for the refrigerator in the background? It's pretty quiet. I'll probably be able to sleep on it. I mean, I'm literally sleeping on it. So hopefully I can, you know, sleep through it. Uh, guess we'll find out. Well, I survived my first night in the van. It was, uh, as expected, very cold. Um, pretty awesome morning though. This plan, build a van basically around this window, this moonroof. Yeah, that was a good plan. Um, you know, I was looking up at the stars last night, which was amazing. Um, I am very bundled, as you can see. Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me switch the camera. Yeah, so that's sleeping bag, two blankets. I hadn't intended for this to be a winter traveling van. It just kind of worked out that, um, hold on. just kind of worked out that this trip and then another trip I'm doing in a few weeks. Um, you know, I needed to use the van or I wanted to use the van. So, um, I have improvised. I'm still not sure if I really want to add heat to the van. Like the standard van life way of doing that is, um, 
like a diesel heater, which I don't really have space for, nor do I want. Um, I don't really want any other petroleum products in the van other than the gas to run it. But doing heat with electricity, especially 12 volt DC, is, um, yeah, not challenging, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to run something all night long. So a compromise might be a heated blanket, and I was doing a little research on that, and they're, they're cheap, but they also don't work super well, but that might be all I need. I in the last night with the blankets in the sleeping bag, like, I was okay. It was a little cold. Um, so maybe like a, even a mediocre heating blanket would be, uh, electric blanket would be enough. So I might just get one of those just in case for the next trip, because the weather's going to be maybe not as cold as it was last night, but, which was like a couple degrees above freezing. Um, but it'll be, um, that might be a little bit, might be enough. Uh, one thing I did do is like after, you know, I brushed my teeth, like you're not, you're not really supposed to, um, have any sort of food products really around where you're sleeping. I don't really think there's many animals around right now because it is the middle of winter, but, um, but just to be on the safe side, I kind of threw my food out down, down where the bathrooms are and stuff, uh, brush my teeth down there too. And, um, and when I came back, I was really cold. So I ran the van, ran the heat in the van for about five, 10 minutes, warmed it all up, jumped in my sleeping bag and that, that actually just worked pretty well. So, oh, one thing I haven't, I don't think I've talked about. So if you notice up front, I have three uh, fitted little, uh, like, so that if, you know, they're two-sided. So the one side they're, um, uh, when it, yeah, what were they called? It's very early. Uh, so one side is black and for like winter time, because then, then the other side is silver. And so in, when it's hotter out, I flip them around and then the silver's on the outside. And, um, so those are good. Um, back here, it's not quite as needed because even though it looks like all these windows are really, really tinted, so, which is not great at night, but it, it is what it is. But anyway, so my plan for today is go check out Pinnacles. Uh, because of all the rain we've had, the cave system is closed, which is a bummer. But there's still other things to see, um, including some cool views and maybe even some California condors. So that'd be cool. So, all right. So anyway, and I've battled on. Uh, I'm going to make myself some breakfast, which in this case is going to be coffee and some prepackaged oatmeal bars. And maybe I'll make my, yeah, actually I'll make myself a sandwich for lunch. Bring that with me. Some water. Go explore for the day. And that's, yeah, let's see how it goes. Well, guess I won't be taking a shower this morning. So let's see how this goes. I am not as I, I'm a little worried because this is supposed to be a fairly strenuous hike, but let's see what happens. Now look, I am the first to admit that I am out of shape. I mean, I am a shape, I'm not exactly fit. Okay, what's the opposite of fit? So, but I would like to say one thing. There's an added difficulty of that. I'm always carrying like 10,000 pounds of camera gear. Okay, like 15 pounds of camera gear. I know, now you're thinking, why don't you just not bring cameras? Or, 
lighter cameras. What's the fun in that? Okay, I should have recorded that. As soon as I finished saying that, I came around the corner and there was a senior citizen coming the other direction, looking totally fine. I mean, granted she was going down, but if she could make it all the way up, it makes me feel even more out of shape. So anyway, let's keep going. Well, I made it. This is the lookout. Um, it's about halfway up on this trail, um, but it's, uh, it's getting windy. Uh, so I hope you can hear me. Um, but the rest of the trail is really strenuous, uh, and this is my first like big hike in a while, and I don't want to kind of overdo it. So I'm actually gonna head back down from here, and then there's a different hike I'm gonna do out to Reservoir that's supposed to be really cool at sunset. And if I time it right, We'll see. Might be able to make it there and get some cool photos. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back down. I will say this at least my bag's lighter because I've drank so much of the water I brought with me already. It's not even that hot. I mean, the sun's bright, but I don't know, it's probably like 60 degrees or something, which is nice. Um, pretty much everyone else I've passed is, uh, passed, yeah, that has passed me. Um, is uh, dressed a little bit warmer than I am and doesn't, they don't seem to be breaking a sweat. I don't know, maybe my goal for this year should be finishing the van and then also getting in better shape is the same thing I say every year. Not the van part. So, anyway. One foot in front of the other and concentrate on not falling. Boy, that couldn't have had better timing. One thing I wanted to mention is uh, this probably looks pretty different compared to how it normally does, I'm guessing. It's my first time here. But we've had a truly amazing amount of rain the last month, month and a half. Uh, most I've seen since I moved to California, really 22 years ago. Um, so I'm guessing that there's just a lot more green than there normally would be. Now, maybe this is what it looks like what pinnacles looks like in the winter normally anyway but uh but yeah that's a solid possibility is it's greener because of the water and the rain so where i'm going next is a reservoir that's supposed to have a ton of water in it for the same reason so uh yeah i just want to mention that in case you're thinking about coming here it might look a little more golden than <laughs> green kind of a controversial opinion of these overlander vans um, look they're they're cool but they're ridiculously expensive and they're huge also like let's be honest how many people are actually gonna be going off-road in one of these things you know if you're going between state and national parks those are all paved roads 
eh, you know, to each their own. And if someone has a hundred grand they want to blow on something like that, more power to them. Okay, night two in the van. Today was pretty awesome. Uh, two pretty decent hikes. Uh, I am very out of shape. So that's something I'm gonna work on. Uh, few things I've noticed that I definitely kind of are gonna make a priority when I get back. The first is lighting. Uh, it doesn't actually look that bad at the moment, but in here it's super blue. Um, not blue, but like, all right, diving into my day job. The color temperature is really high, so the lights in here are cool. Um, they're very kind of bluish, which I hate. Uh, I just kind of hate that in general, and I especially don't like it at lighting. It just doesn't, it feels very anti antiseptic. So I have some LED strip lighting at home. I will definitely um, try to figure out how I'm gonna mount that. I had one idea of like mounting it in a ring around the moon roof, which I think would be kind of cool looking, but then it'd be kind of wiring the electrical. Anyway, I, I have a few ideas for that, but that's definitely gonna be a priority because uh, sitting in here in the dark is kind of boring because it's only seven o'clock and it's like, now what do I do? It's cold out. Um, I was a little bit cold last night. It wasn't bad, like I still slept, but, it was, um, I needed a little bit more, like maybe an extra blanket or something. I'm probably gonna, I think I mentioned before, I'm gonna look into maybe getting a, uh, uh, electrical blank, uh, electric, electric blanket. But for the time being, I'm gonna give one of these a try. Um, oh, I put a sticker over the, but for the time being, I'm gonna give one of these a try. This is a, an emergency blanket. It's, um, like aluminum foil, basically. It says it's quiet, we'll see, but uh, it's supposed to reflect a ton of heat. Like this is what you give, um, this is what you're supposed to have like in an emergency, you can make a little shelter out of it because it's waterproof. It holds the heat in really well. I don't know, I figured it was, you know, six bucks, I think. I was like, ah, I'll give it a try. I've never actually used one. I've, I've known about them like forever, but it, yeah, figured to give it a try. I do want to point out one thing. The name of this company is is S-O-L, I don't know if you can see that, which to me stands for out of luck, which I think is a very funny uh, thing to name a an emergency product, but they've like, maybe they got flack for that. So they the subtitles actually survive outdoors longer. Sure, 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 sure. So anyway, I'm gonna give that a try tonight. Why not? can't hurt and uh yeah so tomorrow morning i'm gonna pack up um move into the front seat and start driving home it's about four and a half five hours i think i haven't i haven't looked at it exactly but i'm like an hour and a half south of san francisco and that's usually a six hour drive so somewhere in that range um, and I would say this trip has been a resounding success. Um, after basically just a few days really of kind of getting the van in a, in a livable condition, obviously the solar panels took longer, but for the stuff that I had done, um, not bad. I've been calling this phase one of just getting the van into a, you know, workable condition. I'm gonna stamp phase one complete. Phase two, 
will start uh, maybe next week. And then after that is what I'm kind of thinking of as phase three, where I can make everything cool looking. I will, you know, put better surfaces on all the wood and um, maybe even replace those with something a little more aesthetically pleasing. Um, if the lighting doesn't look cool already, I want to make sure that all looks cool. And, and I'll just make it a little more photogenic. Um, that's not a huge thing, but I don't know. I think it'd be, it'd be nice to have something that looks a little less hodgepodge. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the plan. And I'm probably gonna set the camera up tonight. Where's the moon? The moon's going down. So I'm gonna set the camera up again. Maybe I can get a cool star lapse again before I go to bed. Smartly this time I actually downloaded a few episodes of TV so I can watch those uh, until I get tired. But that's it. That's everything. So yeah, I'll, um, we, you can rejoin me in the morning. We'll head back down to LA and call this video a wrap. Thanks for watching. Morning update. I did not sleep great. Um, part of that was my neighbors making noise. It was also even colder last night. Um, and despite being bundled up, this this wasn't. So I wake up after a couple hours, my nose and my cheeks would just be frozen. So I'd be like, so meh. Um, I will say though, that the emergency blanket, or as I remember later, what we called when I was a kid, a space blanket. Uh, I'm, I'm actually really glad I bought that, uh, because the rest of me was pretty warm, actually. Uh, so I'm going to call that one a win. The one thing I didn't consider, so it's waterproof, right? Well... The inside is all condensation now. It's trapping all the heat in there. And either because it's so cold out or just moisture and humidity or whatever, it's all on the on the inside of the the blanket. So it's I mean it's wet inside. Not badly, but it's like yeah. So that's unexpected. I guess that's why uh, these aren't used everywhere. But in this situation, it works great. And uh, I mean, it's the type of thing, it's like in an hour, if it's a little bit warmer, it will all be gone, but a little bit weird. I think it's kind of like when you're drinking a glass of ice water in the summer and the outside gets all that condensation. Um, except in this case, the glass of ice water is the van and I'm the air something like that anyway i'm gonna get ready to go and uh get going Well, this is the direction that Waze is telling me to go. I guess I can't.